here with the founder of the Breast Cancer Charities of America. Tell us a little bit about your charity. Yes, the charity was started two years ago based off the fact that there was such a huge need for immediate assistance for women going through breast cancer. And that's why we founded um, our main our main service is called the Help Now Fund, and we pay for the rent and utilities of women going through breast cancer. And then it's an immediate need so that they don't have to choose between getting treatment or being able to keep a roof over their head. And so on a quarterly basis, they can submit their applications, and within 15 days, they are funded and their roof or their utilities stay on through our program. What a wonderful foundation. Yeah. So, but then we decided to link up with the Fashion Partners because that was a huge passion of mine, and I just, I love fashion and I love shoes, and so... I figured you'd incorporate it all. I incorporated it all, and all of a sudden, it just took off like wildfire. And ever since then, that's that's kind of where we've gotten to, where we are today. That's fantastic. Now, anybody close to you that's been affected by breast cancer that you would choose to do breast cancer? I didn't have any immediate family members, but I've had many friends and friends of our family that have been impacted by breast cancer. I mean, one in eight women are going to get breast cancer in their lifetime, so all of us know someone that's gone through it. And it just all of a sudden became this huge passion. I was like, I want to be able to give back, and what a better way than to help other women. Of course. And now, how often should one get tested? We suggest that one always does their monthly self-exams, and then we do suggest that once you hit this age of 40, that then you start going in for your mammograms. Okay, and now it seems like a lot of women younger and younger are being diagnosed with breast cancer. Is there, you said 40, but should they start maybe going in their 20s? Well, we always suggest that if you detect something, like when you're doing your monthly self-exams and detect something that doesn't seem right, get into your doctor and seek out professional help. Um, but we we don't say don't get over-treated because there is too much with the radiation and things like that that can happen just in the actual mammogram process. So we, we say stick to that 40 level and you should be good. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck with this event. Thanks. Thank Have a good night.